This is a portrait of Ai Weiwei and he had his exhibition at the Listen Gallery. He was really friendly actually. He said, what do you want to do? Where do you want me? I often, when I'm meeting people, I like them also to feel as comfortable as they are. So I just say, well, why don't you just stand there, for example? Or And we were in the gallery. It was very well lit. So I said, we'll just stay there then. There's no need for a chair because I just thought if we start doing all that, it just becomes too staged. And I don't really particularly like doing that. I think it's better if it's kind of instant, particularly if there's a camera involved and it's not a sitting like I might do with other portraits. So I think with this portrait I made of Ai Weiwei, I mean, he's one of the greatest uh, living artists and he's monumental. Um, and so I wanted to just do a headshot of him staring directly at the viewer. And I made this portrait actually on another train journey from King's Cross up to Yorkshire. And I did it in one hit. I think it was five hours or something. I just really like got in on his face and the colors. I was just thinking of his sunflower seeds and Van Gogh a bit, like the connection there between his installation in the tape and sunflower seeds. And, and then I started thinking about flowers. And so I've printed him on these dry dalfinium flowers which actually are made by my uncle in Worcestershire. They have this amazing quality where some of them are actually falling off and I really like that because it's this kind of question of life and death and how things aren't around forever and how we aren't around forever and the fragility of life. And so actually this portrait is really really successful and um, I look forward to making more and using dry flowers and this this concept of life and death and portraiture.